Hello everybody. Today I'm doing, well the title will tell you what I'm doing, Neon Nails. I'm trying my best to hold on to summer for as long as possible. So this is Model 1's Blueberry. I've put two coats of that on my thumb and my ring finger. I've got two coats of Africa White on my middle finger and my index finger. And I'll be getting around to my pinky just shortly. What I'm putting on just now is um, the flakes by Nail Sugar. Sorry, I have no words today. And now this is Model 1's, I think it's 60 degrees, but they'll all blink below. So they all got two coats and then a top coat. So I'm just giving these a wee buff because it's... I've made it complicated as it is, instead of doing it on black nails, I'm doing it on white, so I can't really see the white polish where it is. I'm just hope it turns out the way I wanted it to. So I'm putting a, a stripe of white gel polish down the nail and then going in with isopropyl alcohol and just dabbing it. Cure it for 30 seconds and then I'm dabbing on the pigments. These are Born Pretty pigments. I'll try and remember to link them below as well. And then once it's on, just giving it a wee dust to try and blend it a wee bit. And then I'm going to do exactly the same on the other nail coming in the other direction. So just paint the polish on, blot it a wee bit with alcohol, just keep dabbing it, dab, 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 until you think you're happy with the design. As I say, I can't see it. So I just had to do what I thought I wanted it to be like. And then I cured that for 30 seconds and back on with the pigments. On to the pinky nail and I'm just putting a thin layer of base coat on because I want it to be sticky so I can put the glitter on so I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds and I'm just going to burnish in the glitter and put on two layers of top coat to cover that up and that one's done. So now I'm going to put the first layer of top coat onto the smoke nails. I'm using my pigment top coat first and then I'll put another layer on later on. So the blue flake nails I want to do stamping on so I'm just giving them a wee buff because it's easier to stamp on matte than what it is to stamp on shiny. So I'm going to stamp these and I'm going to do some reverse stamping and colour them in. So I'm just going to put some music on while I colour them in and let you watch that um, without listening to me babbling away.
So you need to give it a wee check just to make sure it's dry enough to stamp because if it's too wet, it'll just smear all over the nail and all your hard work will go to waste. So I've left this reveal in slow motion so you can see exactly what happens. If this happens, try stamping again and hold on for a few seconds rather than lifting it off right away and see if it will transfer that way. I've left this part in real time so you can see what I'm doing. Um, this is foil glue, so just paint a thin layer of that on the places where your decal hasn't transferred. Um, it was my own fault, I left it too long and the stamping was too dry to transfer. So I'm going to put um, a layer of this on the ring finger as well to make sure that the other decal transfers without any problems. As usual with stamping, I'm going to put two coats of top coat on, the first one being a nice floaty layer so that you're not going to smear all your stamping that you've just done. Then it's time for the final layer of top coat on the neon nails and this is a glow-in-the-dark luminous top coat. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, so I decided to try it and see. I'm just doing a thin layer because obviously there's already a layer of top coat on here so it's just a nice thin layer to give it a glow if it works. Here we are all finished and oiled and I'm really happy with the way the nails turned out. Um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!